everyone, it's Nicole, and I'm here to put together my pages that we're going to use for the virtual crop coming on September 23rd and September 24th. We're going to put 10 pages together, and the whole time it's going to be live, it's $10 for 10 hours of crafting, 10 challenges, plus when you purchase the class, you get a $4 coupon that you can buy a couple of digital files. So $4 off on some digital files. So really it's $6 for 10 hours of scrapping. And it's not that I put the challenges up there and you're on your own. We actually scrap all pages together. And the great thing is it's recorded so you can watch it. If you know, if you miss some, you can watch it at a later time. Okay, let's get started. I wanna use this that I got, my my la last order that I got because I'm trying to, you know, use stuff as I'm purchasing it. I wanna make sure that it doesn't stay in my scrap room unused. So let's see what we got here. I like this green. So I wanna try and maybe make two pages with this. And then I've pulled a few collections and we'll try to make a few pages from each of those collections too. With, you know, and getting 10 done. So this first video is probably going to be choosing the pattern papers. Oh, I like this blue. Okay, let's just do the green first. <laughs> let's just do the green. Um, so yes, we'll figure out which, we'll put 10 pattern paper kits together. And because I started throwing in some of the embellishments, we're gonna do that. I like these rub-ons. Oh. How many is in there? Six of them. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh. That is pretty. Okay, so I can put that whole sheet in there. And I think I'm going to go get something to put this in. Because I don't want this to separate. And then the rub-ons will be wrecked. Now, do I want to put another color in there? Maybe green and yellow, because that's kind of like a greenish yellow. Or green and orange. But I think green and yellow is what I'm going to go with. That is pretty. Okay. I'm going to try to use that. There's some stuff here. Oh, is that a different one? Yes, it is. Pretty. I'm going to try and use that on another layout. Now, I love these laser cut aparts. So let's try to use those. I had purchased this before and I used the whole thing or pretty much the whole thing. I know one of them I used the whole thing. So I got another one and I'm going to try. Oh, yeah and use it on some more layouts. Let's try to use some of these. Now, normally I would just throw the whole thing on there, but I'm making so many page kits right now that and I know I'm gonna wanna use some of these again on another layout. So we'll just, it doesn't take long to cut apart. So we'll just do that. The rub-ons though, I'll just throw on there. Okay, I think we're gonna call that good with those three. I'm not even gonna bother putting these back because I know the other page, I might try to use some of that still. So the only thing that'll be left, sorry about the noise, the only thing that'll uh, be left to do is putting down my foundations, which we'll do on another video. That green is the wrong green. <laughs> this is the perfect green. So we'll use some of these. 
Okay. So yes, we'll probably do one video to do little adventure I like that. The papers and then a couple of videos to do the foundations. So putting on my digital files. Okay, I am liking this a lot. So I'm going to get a bag for this. Normally at this point, I don't put anything in bags because I only have the pattern paper. But in this case, we're adding a bit of embellishment. We're gonna put it directly in a bag. And I have these, they're like to store stamps and stuff, but I like to use them when I have rub-ons like this. So since I have it just like this, I might as well, if I can, just put the whole thing in there. If it's too much trouble, I'll just put the rub-ons. <laughs> Because really, that's what I'm most concerned about is these rub-ons. I don't want it, you know, to separate and wreck my rub-ons. So we got page kit number one. Like I said, I still have to add my foundation. So there's going to be more, more to come on those. Now, that's the back side of the one we just used. These ones are kind of... It's like a purple blue though. So I don't think I want to use that because I'm looking more for something that blue. So let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. Then we can get a cardstock or something and add that in there. And then this is totally a different... Um, collection that's simple stories but that would go well with it let's see what oh look at this this is pretty that is almost a perfect match but then I don't like this with it okay let's see what else we have here that maybe we could use Maybe, oh, this one, this one looks good. This one looks good, this one looks good. And then some of this I could use on here. I like this adventure is waiting a lot, a lot, a lot. So we'll just throw that in there. Okay, so that'll be the three that I'm gonna use for this layout let's move some of that to the side now we can use some of those little hearts I like this good times oh maybe some of uh, like a big tag it's kind of neat okay that's kind of a lot. I have three circles, so we'll go with that. Ooh, look at this, look at this, look at this, yes. Okay, we'll try to use some of these. Oh, they're so gorgeous. I don't think I'll go with the orange. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's try to, I was gonna throw the whole thing on there, but I'm gonna try and use some on another page. Okay, let's get the teal stuff. I was just gonna do two layouts with this, but I'm seeing that orange there and I'm like, you know what? I gotta use up some of that orange. I think that's going to really be nice on a layout. So, I'm gonna keep one in the package here and I'll take out the other one. And I got one of these again. So I'll put my rub-ons in here. And for the next page, then I can just concentrate, you know, put them in this. But for now, oh, gorgeous. I think I wanna take all three sheets of the teal 
or turquoise. And I'm going to put it in that kit, just like that. We'll get this one here. And then the next layout, I saw there that we, we do have some orange background. The only thing is this one here has orange and blue. It's okay. I'll put it here. And then whichever page I do first, I'll just have to remember that there is on these last two orange and blue. I could do orange and blue right on this layout, but I think I'm going to keep it so that I can do an orange layout. Okay, so let's do this. And let's do this to keep these rub-ons nice and safe. And again, we're going to go through these and grab some of these flowers. Okay. I have to say, you know, if you've been following me for a while, Pink Fresh Studio has been sort of like my favorite go-to, but it's quickly, I still love them, but 49 and Market is <laughs> kind of catching up here. Okay, I'll get one of these. Perfect. Are those the same size? Okay, I think I want one in a different size. If there is one, hmm, there isn't. They're all the same size. Let's look on this one. No, it's all good. It's too bad though for the orange. I'm not going to have any of these. Let me see. Oh, there's orange in here. Beautiful. Okay, so for now, we're going to put this in a bag because we're going to do our foundation all at once. I want to do just the pattern paper and the extra embellishments right now. And then we will do the foundation stuff at a different date. And that will probably be two videos. We'll probably do five. This might be two videos also. We'll see, might be two. I, I'd like the videos to be like 20, 25 minutes each, so. Okay, so here's the orange. How gorgeous is that? Let's see if we have anything else that we can add as pattern paper on this. I have used up quite a bit <laughs> of this collection but I'm not, I'm not sad about it at all because it's on the layout. It's not sitting in my stash, so it's all good. Okay, should I maybe do, oh yes, this and this, and then I'll get a dark cardstock. Let me go get that. I wanted to go get it right now because I knew exactly what I wanted and I wanted to put, put it on the layout right away. I don't think there's anything else that I want to put on there. We'll just do the one pattern paper and that's fine because you know what? The more layouts that you can do with a collection, then the more bang for your buck you're getting. You know what? This has a few different colors and this kind of has a peachy orange there. We'll add that in there. And then, of course, we have these. I'm not even going to put them together. They're all separated by, you know, plastic. So we're good. And I knew that there was tons of orange stuff in here. So we're going to put that in there. And this, too, this was, you know, one of the last things that from my last order that I purchased. So it's already getting on some layouts. It doesn't mean that it's all gonna be on the layout, but 
it's all good. I don't think there's a lot of orange stuff in here, but even if I just get a few sort of like 3D stuff, because this is going to be all flat. Oh, it look, it look more orange on the paper here. But this is, can I, oh, there they are. What? No, that's not really orange, is it? Okay, let me, <laughs> it's playing tricks with my eyes. It's got some orange tinge to it. So you know what? It looks more orange on the package than it does in person, but it's all good. This one has a little bit more orange. So, and plus we have all of these. So I think we're gonna be okay with that. Actually, this one has way more orangey tinge to it. And we're gonna call that good. Okay, I think we're gonna do two more for this video. And this is, look at this collection from Cartabella. It is called Beautiful Moments. I've never opened it before. 2012, it's 10 years old, almost, you know, 11 years old. So let's put this on a layout ASAP. <laughs> So I think we're going to try and do two from this pattern paper collection. And what we'll do, we'll look at the sticker sheet. That's different. So there's two sticker sheet. It's so muted, right? It's beautiful. So there's the alphas and some borders and more borders here and then all of this. So I'm going to put those two page kits together. And we are going to make two pages with these. I've been doing that quite a bit, you know, going through and grabbing a collection and saying, okay, I'm making two page kits. Like, it's it's got to get done. And I'm loving it. My collections are getting used up instead of just sitting on a shelf and you know, never leaving the shelf for 10 years. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try. That is pretty. That is pretty. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna put this on and I think I might, for some reason, when I have something like this, I find it hard to use. But if I just cut around the flowers and then I'm just using that and then I got all of this, even if I would maybe cut that out, I don't know. I might, we will see. But I'm gonna put those two together because I like this and this we can use together. So that's one thing. We'll put this because there's lots of cut apart that I'll use. I wanna use one pink and one yellow. So then we'll have the cut aparts for both. And the yellow, see this is pretty too. And that might be easier to use than that one. So I'm going to put that one in there too. And then I'll decide what I'm going to use when we're there, when we're actually putting the page together. So I like this. I'm going to put this because there's lots of borders to cut. I think I'd like, yeah, I was going to say, I think I'd like a black with this, but I don't like that it's polka dot and polka dot. I wish I could find something else here. Let's look at the back of these pages. Maybe this and this. Even that is very busy. What about the back of this one? No, that's red. Okay, so that's not going to help. Let me see. I could maybe just do this 
use some of these on the layout. Maybe just a strip of this, or maybe I could use a cardstock as the background. I could do that. I could do that. So now I don't know if I want to put that with that or use it for here. I think I'm going to put those two because I think if I use some cardstock, then I can use both of these. And I'll do this. That almost used up all the pattern papers. I mean, they're not used up, but you know what I mean? They're in a kit to be used up. Okay, so these are the two kits for that. And we'll use a lot of these stickers. Plus, of course, we'll add the foundation. Okay, I think for today, we're gonna stop it here. So that's the first five page kits that we're gonna use on the virtual crop. So if you're interested in the virtual crop, just go to NicoleJones91.com. And like I said, it's $10, you get a $4 coupon. And this weekend, we're gonna be spilling the tea. We're gonna be talking about the vacation from basically day one to day 44 and all the funny stories that happen along the way. And that's it, we're gonna stop it here for today. And I wanna thank you so much for watching, bye.